So when I first started filming on the channel, I would use a mixture of um, a GoPro for like they call B-roll, like the, the long form shots where I'm doing something. And then for talking to the camera itself, I would use my, I just use my iPhone and I would just go between the two. And that um, from, from, from a viewer's perspective seemed to work pretty well because obviously you've got the bits where I'm talking to and giving the information and then you've got the distance bits where you can kind of see what I'm doing. And along the lines, basically my GoPro broke. Um, it just, I don't know what happened to it. It just kept turning off. So every time I try to film something like 20 seconds in, it would just turn itself off. I tried to recalibrate it. I tried to, is it, what's it called? Recalibrate it. Um, I let the battery drain out. I fully charged it. I did like everything I could think of. Um, the memory card, I recalibrated that. I emptied it out completely as well. Basically nothing seemed to work. So my videos progressively graduated to just me talking on my phone um, and <clears throat> not a lot of other stuff, which I think firstly has massively affected the watch time um, on the channel. And then secondly, um, <clears throat> the whole process of getting the footage from an, it's an Apple iPhone I've got. So getting the footage from there over to a non-Apple laptop is a complete pain in the arse. Um, I've tried loads of different ways to do it and they are all a pain in the arse. It's not, there's not an easy way to do it basically as far as I've found. Um, so what I want to do is get back to the point where I thought the videos were better when I first started them essentially. I obviously work from there. I'm better on the software, computer software and editing software now and things like that. But um, I think the, the general quality of the videos has took a dive. Being that the only thing I could film was me talking to the camera. If I set the camera up, like I've got limited memory on my phone. So that just fills up my phone really quick. So in order to combat that, we've got uh, another GoPro. So I bought another GoPro for the channel um, and we're going to set it up now. And hopefully, because this is just a um, memory card, transferring the data over should be a lot easier. Literally a case of unplugging and plugging in. Um, means I can get better camera angles. It means I can get the long shots so that I can speed up like the B-roll footage. It means I can talk to it as well because I've got a microphone as well. And so hopefully this should free up my phone for a secondary camera should I need it. But the primary is going to be the 100% GoPro. And what we're going to do today is just have a play with it, have a play with the features and everything like that. See if we can make a little video based around it. Um, only using that from when I obviously turn it on and set it up. Um, and yeah, go out and do some different different camera shots, things like that, and, and see how it turns out. So this is the package it came in. So obviously just protective stuff. And this should be the, I don't know, what is this? Media mod. So I'm presuming this part here is the microphone. Um, as far as I'm aware, I haven't purchased a um, tripod or light. I may well have, I don't know. It basically had the microphone. It looked like a microphone, so yeah. And then further down here, we have the camera, so. Okay, so, box. They've obviously changed the packaging since I got that. I think my one was a five, so we're what, six years down the line. Um, so again, like I said, this is like the issue. So I have to put my phone down, turn it off. I'll pull all this out of the packaging and then I'll come back and turn the phone on. And this is what I'm trying to avoid by buying this. And the packaging is actually a lot nicer than it used to be. It used to just be like a little cardboard box with the, like a clear Perspex trophy stand essentially with the GoPro inside. So this case holder with bits to hold information or accessories, etc., etc., is actually a lot better and a lot more organized so a lot less chance of you losing stuff which i tend to do quite a lot because organization is difficult um because i've got so many things going on not because i'm just generally a messy person so gopro presume charger battery mount a sticky mount so they've cut back on the accessories since I bought one last. I think the last one I had had one of those head, um, I don't know, like elasticated head mount thing jobbies. Um, but it's fine. 
and they're cheap as chips anyway on eBay. So if I need anything, I can just easily buy it off eBay. Okay, and I've just opened the uh, the media mod. So let's just quickly go through that and see what was in there. So literally, this is how it comes out of the box. Just instructions, guarantee. We've got another um, thingy, another mount. And then... So again... Um, I need to do two hands, so I'm gonna to have to stop the film, put the phone down, and and see why it's starting to get irritating for me filming. So two seconds. So yeah, just literally the microphone that I've bought, and it comes with the mount. Um, and then obviously you've got uh, I think they're called dead cats for the microphone as well to stop any audio. So this is the microphone, and then um, I presume this just clips over the top to stop any wind affecting the audio, which as you've seen on one of my previous videos. You know would also help massively um so i'm presuming that just clips on like that there we go got it so there we go so it was just this bit here you just got to pull it out slightly and it just unclips and opens up okay so i haven't messed with the settings on the gopro or anything like that i'm presuming everything's just kind of set to automatic for for um for image quality and everything literally just plugged it into the microphone brought it in the car, put it in and let it play. So I'll have a play with the settings later on when I've got a little more time to mess around with them. Um, but for now, we're on a very wet B road. And what I'm trying to do is just establish sort of how good the microphone's gonna be, if it's gonna be able to pick me up when I'm driving along. And if so, then that obviously gives a new dimension to, to the videos and what I can make because I'm not having to pull over and stop and just sit holding my phone whilst I'm making the videos, I can do something that's a bit more dynamic, essentially. So straight away, I've got loads more filming angles, loads more filming options, um, and the ability to film where I just couldn't when I was only using my phone. Um, so obviously we can get back to where I used to use the GoPro for like B-roll as well. Um, and then we've got this. This angle could be a little bit better. What I need is a, an adapter, which I've probably got in the house to, to bring the angle out a little bit more so you're seeing more of the road rather than just this side of the car. Um, but yeah, all, all the other um, angles and as well as the workflow, rather than having a way to upload into the cloud from my phone and then go through the computer and get it down from the cloud you can just literally just transfer the sim literally just transfer over the uh, memory card and just copy across which is going to be a thousand times better than what I've been doing at the minute because sometimes I've gone to transfer it to the cloud and then some footage hasn't uploaded or it hasn't uploaded at all any of the footage and then sort of it's a day later when I'm checking it and I've got to go back and then try to re-upload again and the whole process is just a bit of a pain so I'm much more of a fan of being able to take the memory card use the memory card um, and plug that straight into the computer then having to rely on all this upload download stuff just a lot more cleaner straightforward process and so that brings us to the end of the video so um, hopefully with this GoPro addition to the channel as well with the microphone like I said I won't know till I edit it but hopefully all the audios come out fine and everything like that and then that means that we've had like another dimension to the channel as well which we can do to make it and so if that is the case that then adds another dimension to the channel as well um, to bring sort of better content than what we have been when I've just, like I said, been holding my phone. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you think, and I'll see you for the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.